Trey can get a uh, grab side team and go all Pac-12 first team. What are, your, what are your thoughts on having that individual accolade? Uh, it was it was great. Um, my parents was the first person, people to tell me, um, but you know my my teammates were the ones that put me in position. My coaches, so you know God gave a credit to them and uh, what they did and sacrificed for me. You know, a lot of people are wondering if the uh, you know, postseason can, is, is underway. Uh, can you guys you know, become the team that you guys were in December? How close are you guys to becoming that team, and what is it going to take to be that team again? Uh, I mean, well, it kind of basically all started in Vegas. So it's kind of like a, you know, starting all over again. So that's kind of our mindset right now. And uh, there's no home crowd. There's no, you know, we're not playing on the road. It's a neutral court. So, you know, I think I like our odds there. And uh, it's, uh, we're in Vegas, somewhere in familiar territory. So, uh, you know, hopefully we shoot the ball as well we did when we were there. Do you view this as a fresh start? Yeah, most definitely because, you know, our record's out, out the door. Um, I mean, season has something to do with it. But, you know, you know you just, you're going to have the ball out there. It's a play at noon. So it's whoever wants it the most. And I think we're really eager to win and, uh, you know, prove a lot of people wrong. And, uh, do what we were doing before. People have uh, wondered about the Colorado game uh, in terms of the importance and making sure you guys stay off the tournament bubble. <clears throat> uh, is that a really thought in the locker room at all amongst you guys? Um, I mean, obviously, people, you know, we hear it and stuff like that, but our goal, you know, is try to win a championship this weekend and then worry about that next weekend. Um, we have an unbelievable opportunity. Um, Colorado's a good team. And then, uh, we're looking at a plan at against our rival if we win that game. So I think we have a great opportunity in front of us, and if we just lock in on that, and then you know the rest will take care of itself. After playing Colorado twice this year, what kind of challenges do they present on Wednesday? Um, I think the first game they shot really well, and we had a lot of uh, defensive breakdowns. And then the next game we didn't shoot the ball well, and we played the better defense, so we were kind of in the game. And then the second half we shot the ball well, so. If we combine our defense and then if we just shoot it mediocre, you know, we'll have a great chance to win. You can make an argument, I asked Bobby this, that you can make an argument that you guys played your best as an underdog this year, and now as a ninth seed, you could, people could look at you as an underdog again. Do you think that creates some sort of mental edge for you guys going into this? Um, yeah, you know, you hear people say, like, what happened to them and, you know, why losing and all this stuff. But, you know, it's part of basketball. Um, if you look back at the whole season, you know, we had we were we won 20 games. And it's ha haven't happened here in a while, uh, so we had a good year. I mean, we're not like you know, uh, not like you know Kentucky winning the whole year and stuff like that. Like you know, we're a good team. We're trying to make the NCAA tournament, but uh, you know, I think it's good for us to be uh, the underdog. Um, I feel like our whole team is underdogs. Uh, me, Shannon, Cody, we're not really highly recruited. Um, Coach Hurley was an underdog, um, so it's a, I think a combination of our team is, is underdogs, and we play better with that little mindset. Anything else? Thanks, Trey. Thanks, Thanks Trey. Thanks, Trey. Good luck with